victorious by just over a quarter of a point. In the all-around competition, Jared Hanks just lost out to Sato from Japan. And so now we turn our attention to the women's events. John Neighbor with Kathy Johnson. As each athlete is out there performing by themselves, the glare of that spotlight must increase the tension a bit. John, there's a lot of excitement surrounding these American women because, in essence, these gymnasts are on the bubble. They have a shot at making the Olympic team this year for Barcelona, so there's a lot of pressure that goes along with that excitement. I asked a lot of them what they like most about the competition. Surprisingly, they said the pressure. So we'll have to see how they handle it here. And, of course, as we test the pressure, we will reveal the strength of this team. Bart Connor, an opportunity for U.S. gymnastics to introduce or at least reveal another superstar. Well, there's no question about that. And, you know, every once in a while, a gymnast comes along that just completely electrifies the crowd. Mary Lou Retton could do it. The current world all-around champion, Kim Zameskel, can do it. And there's a young lady here, 15-year-old Dominique Dawes from Maryland. She can do it. And when you see her on the floor exercise, she's going to completely ignite this crowd. I can't wait to watch. Now, two of the events have already taken place, and at this point in the standings, the United States is dominating Japan. Three full points lead so far in the all-around competition. The United States has the top four spots with a two-way tie for first. One of those two leaders, Dominique Dawes, at 15 years of age, is creating a lot of attention. She's certainly uh, stolen some hearts as well as some judges' scores in this competition. And most important for the U.S. women, she followed a 9.85 by Heidi Hormick and a 9.8 by Michelle Campy. Watch the beautiful flare position after the twist and, of course, the perfect landing. Scored a 9.95 and set Stephanie Woods up perfectly. Great flourish at the end of her vault action. 9.95 was the highest score that was seen in that event. Also performing in the vault, Stephanie Woods, a gold medalist at last year's Pan Am Games in Cuba. She didn't have the flare position like Dominique, but look at the height and distance on this vault. And again, another very good landing. She also scored a 9.95. Wendy Bruce rounded out the rotation with a 9.95 as well. In the second rotation, the United States continued to overwhelm Japan. Here's Michelle Camp, who won a silver medal at the last World Championships. And with this beautiful full-twisting double back and a great landing, she was one of four U.S. women to score 9.9 .9 on this event. So now we rejoin our action on the third rotation. It's the balance beam, and next up is Wendy Bruce. She's one of our co-leaders, has suffered injuries recently, and so we had the opportunity to talk to her about how she feels competing now after being out for so long. I feel um, more confident in myself and I'm not as intimidated going to a meet. And um, I feel like I was before I got injured where I'm really comfortable in a meet. Instead of being nervous, I feel pumped up and psyched to go. And it's her turn to prove it on the beam. And Wendy's gymnastics has really shown a lot of maturity since coming back from those injuries. All of her routines have been upgraded. The composition is much more difficult, more unique. Here's her most difficult pass, two layout step outs. Oh, you could see the little stutter step in between the layouts, which gave her a little trouble on that second skill. Side some, oh no. What a shame to see that happen just as she seems to have regained her competitive confidence. Of course, that's five tenths of a point deduction for the fall. Inner layout off one foot. Of all of the events, when you're just coming back into competition, this is the toughest to really get your mind in gear and able to compete, control the adrenaline, control the nerves. the dismount it's a round off double back tough position a little hot oh what a shame to see her fall but as i said it's really difficult to come back on this event and i think that will just take a little time and these are the competitions she wants to get under her belt now if you watch closely you can see the trouble began on the second skill here her hips are a little out of line she has a little stutter step and the third skill is actually short of rotation and <laughs> she's way off it boy she pulls it back on well, Wendy Bruce, who placed as high as 11th in the all-around at the 1989 World Championships, clearly disappointed with a 9.125. That will drop her well out of the all-around standings. Our next athlete from Japan, Hitomi Sakai. She does a round-off layout mount. 
This is probably the Japanese women's best event in terms of their level of difficulty. Two layout step outs, just like we saw Wendy do in almost the identical balance break as well. This is her most difficult pass coming up right here. It's a three element pass, cartwheel back handspring into a layout step out. Again, she checks her balance. Each one of those is a tenth to two tenths of a point deduction. Though she certainly has enough skills of difficulty, the composition of this routine is really very stock. Nothing unusual, nothing different. This is Satomi's first international competition. Her dismount is also a double back. And that lands a little short, has to take that step forward. And so as she awaits her judges' scores, we'll take a short break and be back with more gymnastics after this. We just saw Hitomi Sakai finish her beam routine. Her official marks of 9.65. You're now looking at our co-leader in the all-around, 15-year-old Dominique Dawes. She's powerful and exciting. For more on Dominique, here's Kathy Johnson. Four feet, nine and a half inches tall, this 80-pound dynamo is one of the most dynamic and powerful tumblers on the national team. Known as Awesome Dawson, 15-year-old Dominique Dawes was born to be a gymnast. I'd have to say my strong points is my power, but sometimes I don't use my power correctly and my technique's not always right, but um, I believe my power and my tumbling is the best. At the 1991 U.S. National Championship, she placed first on the floor exercise, then went on to tie teammate Kim Zameskel for first place at the American Cup with this very same routine. I feel like I would like to turn on the crowd, not the crowd turn on me, and I'd like to um, just keep smiling and get them into my routine and for them to feel the um, enthusiasm that I'm feeling at the same time. When she gets out in front of people, she likes to please the audience, and that's what she's there to do, not to just go through motion. She wants the reaction and response of the audience. To make her twice-a-day workouts more manageable, she lives with her coach, Kelly Hill, in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Their day starts early, and even while at the breakfast table, Dominique's mind is on gymnastics, as dreams of Barcelona become more than a fantasy. The rest of the day is very regimented. She's out of the house, books in hand like any other schoolgirl. But first, she goes to the gym for a morning workout. After training, it's off to school for four straight classes, then back to gym for stretching, ballet, and more practice. Daydreams at school are not about an upcoming dance or social event, but Barcelona in July. My dreams are to be on the 1992 Olympic team in Barcelona, and I'd also like to stay into the sport and hopefully get a college scholarship. And then if I'm strong and healthy and able to do gymnastics at a really good caliber, I'd like to go for 96. As a sophomore at Gaithersburg High School, Dominique is anything but another face in the crowd. Her dreams of Olympic glory may very well come true. But right now, her focus of attention is on the beam. She's next up, tied after two rotations for the all-around, but four of the five Americans who preceded her on the beam had lackluster performances. All except for Kristen McDermott, who did an excellent job scoring a 9.85. Dominique has steadily improved on this event. All of her movements have become much more polished. Here's a difficult pass, two, two layout somersaults. It's quite a unique pass as well. Most of the gymnasts who do that pass do the back handspring and they step out. She lands on two feet.
Front tuck somersault. Little check on the balance. She shows nice extension on her jumps, really shows that full 180 degree split in the air. Something the judges really like to see. And this is unbelievable. Watch this pass, two back handspring, full twisting double back. Most of the gymnasts are performing double back. She adds a twist and does it out of two back handsprings. Incredibly difficult. And one of the first to congratulate her, Coach Kelly Hill. She was complimenting her on her ability to handle the pressure. And that really is nice to see from a very young gymnast. See how I said that's a unique way of doing this pass? She lands the first back handspring on two feet rather than step out. And this is just great. Two back handsprings, just like she's tumbling on the ground. Full twist on the, pulls that second one right around. Scoreboard nominee goes on balance beat 9.9. As she said, her strength is her power, and it's evident there. The official marks 9.90, the best score ever received in this competition on the beam. So the United States holds on to a strong advantage over Japan in the women's competition. In the all-around competition, the United States still dominate. Dominique now holds the lead to herself.